on the top has to be Trafalgar, you know. Well, no, the guy on the top is actually Admiral Nelson. Trafalgar Square was built to honor his victory at the Battle of Trafalgar. Well, there you go. There it is. <laughs> now we know something. And yeah, next time I get interviewed, I'll, I'll, I'll be really I'll smart. definitely, yeah, we won't look sharp. so stupid next time. Unfortunately, poor old Nelson lost his life at that battle. This magnificent granite column was erected in his honour in 1840. It is almost 60 metres high and stands imposingly over one of the most famous squares in the world. Trafalgar Square was built in 1805 and is now central to London's identity. It's a popular meeting point and home to festivals, happenings and mass demonstrations. As the column is too difficult to climb on, we have these four giant bronze lions. Each one represents one of the Admiral's great battles, and each one is 20 feet long and 22 feet high, a perfect size for small mountaineers. In ordnance terms, this is the centre of London. It is from this spot that all distances to and from London are measured. But there's no doubt that what Trafalgar Square is best known and loved for is its permanent residence, the Pigeons. They don't seem to be aware that the Mayor Ken Livingstone banned them in 2001 in an attempt to clean up the square. I think humans spread a lot, a lot of dirt, spitting on the street, throwing fast food, takeaways. They're certainly no worse than us as far as mess goes. Sometimes it's funny when you see the statues and their faces are just white. <laughs> covered the, with pigeon the crap. Pigeon crap but I'd say it gives but, the place personality, really. This is what you're not supposed to do in Trafalgar Square. The square is scattered with statues that have been gradually added over the years. Four large pedestals are positioned around the square. Three of them carry statues, but the fourth is empty. This plinth carries works by contemporary British artists for a few months at a time. If feeding the pigeons and climbing on the lions isn't a good enough reason for you to come here, Trafalgar Square is surrounded by some of the most splendid institutions in London. There's the National Portrait Gallery, Admiralty Arch, St Martin's in the Fields, and of course there's the National Gallery. With its free admission and thousands of paintings, you can easily spend hours and hours here, making it a perfect solution for a rainy London day. The gallery houses one of the greatest collections of European paintings in the world. Over 2,000 paintings by major artists are displayed in over 68 galleries. Here you'll find the works of Van Gogh, Botticelli, Monet, Constable, Rembrandt, Turner, Renoir and Leonardo da Vinci. It's free, but it's always good to try and donate something if you can. I think it's really pretty. Like the statues, pigeons, and everything. This reminds you of old times, doesn't it?